What an outstanding performance. And in case this isn't obvious by now, our guest today on our signature segment, today's edition of See the Stories, is up and coming Indonesian superstar, Miss Celia. Before we chat with her, let's first have a look at her journey as a singer. Miss Celia Ikwan is a new singer in the Indonesian music industry who started her career by covering various songs and uploading them to her YouTube channel. She then succeeded in releasing a single in 2020 titled Isi Hati, but she did not stop there as she was then nominated for Best New Artist at the Anugrah Music Indonesia or AMI Award in 2021. And now, she has released an album called Penyendiri. Without further ado, let's just talk with Miss Elia about her latest album. First of all, that was a great performance. Thank you very and much. Welcome to the program. You? you look so <laughs> young and fresh. <laughs> okay, okay, let's take I it. can't help it. Oh no, I go. Oh, no. oh, I'm horrible at this. Wait. I'm gonna say 24. 19. Okay, that was a bit of a difference closer, there. Right? 19. Okay, I'm 18. 18? Actually, I'm 19 this year, so Yay! you're... Yay! Oh, wow, yeah. so you're closer there, Crazy. I could yep. be, I told you you're horrible at this, but wow, amazing. Well, because I'm, I'm also judging by her voice. Oh, I know. To have Thank you. this kind of uh, maturity in, yes. your, in your voice and your, the way you're delivering your song. So, That's great right. performance by Thank you, Thank you by the so way. much. Tell us about the song, what is it about? Okay, um, so the title is Penyendiri, and... It's actually my latest uh, album, the main track and also the title as well, mm -hmm. which means, uh, it literally means as a loner, right? Okay. But... Um, Are you a loner? Um, I would say I am a loner, but that's where it gets exciting. Because okay. I, I always feel like I'm a loner, but I'm not never. Lonely. I'm never lonely. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. <laughs> it's like, it's like in a pos you put a positive spin on it. There's nothing yep. wrong with being a loner. Right. Did, did you write like... it yourself, the song? I wrote it together with um, my team. Mm -hmm. It's Kadona, Dona Maula, yes. and also Kayura Yunita. Wow, no wonder. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you have amazing mentors. Yep, exactly. Uh, actually, I've been working with them since my first ever single, yep. which is three years ago. Mm -hmm. So it's been a very a pretty long journey, I would say. So, yeah. All right. So you were nominated as uh, Best New Artist a couple of years ago now, 2021. It's now 2023. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was a pandemic that happened in between, in, yeah. <laughs> in case we forgot. Um, what was the process like for you to release this album now at a time when life's pretty much going back to normal as usual? What did you use that last couple of years as you were anointed, as recognized as one of the new artists in Indonesia, to now releasing your album? Yep, right. So here's a fun fact about me. I am a pandemic era singer. Okay. So I okay. released my first ever single in 2020. Okay, so right, right when the pandemic starts, I released my first ever single. So I didn't have that much time to um, promote it of course. here and there. So I just promoted it digitally. Mm -hmm. And finally, this year, I got to promote here. Mm -hmm. yes. And also um, in Jakarta, in Bandung, and also in Surabaya, which is a lot of fun for me. I, I enjoy doing it very much. And for the process itself, um, it has gotten so much better since okay. last year. Did you purposely kind of, I guess, time it this way then? Because if you release your single right when the pandemic started, <laughs> it was like, maybe it's not a good idea to like release an album soon, and you kind of wait it out and wait till the timing is right? Is that, was that part yeah, of the Yeah, right. Uh, actually, that's not really the reason, okay. but let's say it is. But it's, it's just, it worked out better that way. <laughs> yeah, right, because it's just because um, making an album isn't that easy, that's so true. that's why I just had the time to release it now. That's great. That's great. <laughs> but let's talk more about your mentors, uh, Yura Yunita and Dona Maula. Yes. Um, how, how are they as mentors? I mean, t uh, tell me what you do usually with them. Uh, do okay. they coach you? Do you do workshops together? So I would say instead of a mentor and a mentee, yep. 
we're so, 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 so much more than that. Okay. I guess I can say we're, we're almost like a family. Mm. Yeah, because in our label, Marakit, which is uh, also found by Kayura and Kadona, mm -hmm. I am their first ever artist beside both of them. Okay. So it's just like a little family in, a, in their own little home. And when when people um, when other singers maybe um, produce their songs in a studio in a workshop and in a proper meeting, mm -hmm. we don't actually do that. We we made songs in their room. In yeah, in in their house and yeah. in our overnight stays. Oh, <laughs> right. How does that happen? Just kind of. Did they? Yeah, just I just, cover I just you? crash in, yeah. and, and they just okay, come here, and we made songs. Out. Yeah, in okay, in Indonesia, uh, we actually called it turhat. Turhat. Ah, right? okay. Yeah, so I never like purposely. I want to write a song about this. Right. No, that never happened. Okay. It, through my three whole journey of us writing songs mm -hmm. and making songs, uh, we usually started with okay, uh, how are you feeling today? Ah, okay. Wow. And what? What's happening lately in your life? Okay. Yeah, we usually share something and we we make songs uh, with our experiences, yeah. our traumas. Now that I say it well, loudly. I know that's perfect because <laughs> you just gave us the perfect segue to ask about Akhir Tak Bahagia. Right. Uh, I'm getting sort of a, a, an idea of the theme here. There's like penyendiri, <laughs> Akhir Tak Bahagia. Where do you draw your inspiration from? You did say a lot of this came from Churhat sessions or when you were having discussion sessions about what's been happening in your life. Yeah. Is that Does it pick up from there and then you end up drawing from your own experiences and putting that into your music? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Akhir Tak Bahagia is about, um, yeah, there was this guy. Okay. <laughs> there was this guy, I experienced um, uh, uh, like brief love story okay. with the guy and as the title said, it didn't end well. Yeah, it's, uh, basically it translates roughly to not a happy ending, guys. No. So that one was probably a learning experience for you. Yeah. And does that help you with the healing process if you write music about it? it kind of Because some people tell me that if I write music about it, I learn to let it go. And that's yeah. where it stays. You know? All right. Is that, is, that, is that like that with you as well? No, unfortunately <laughs> that didn't happen to me. I just cried in my room. But yeah, but now I'm here uh, doing perfectly well yeah. and the song's benefiting you now that experience yeah. has benefited you there you go but tell us more about the song making process mm -hmm. i mean you you already told us obviously that it comes from the, your churhat sessions right yeah. now uh what comes next i mean yeah. uh, do you do you then write the lyrics or do you come up with the melody or do you come up with a chord first tell us more about it um actually about uh, my newest album penyendiri it was actually made because I feel like being in the music industry or entertainment industry, being an introverted is somehow rare, right? Okay. I totally, I can totally yeah. because I'm so an introvert. An introvert. <laughs> yeah, okay. I am. Oh, before that, I, I really want to know uh, what comes into your mind when you hear the word uh, oh, loner. Introvert. Introvert? Introvert. Yeah. For me, um, I, I, was, I, I, I always... Privacy. Privacy. Oh, okay. No, because I, to, to call somebody a loner, it means this person spends time alone. But I see it as like having your own privacy sometimes. And I think right. that's important in everyone's life. Maybe I'm an introvert. Okay. But then how about alone? <laughs> alone oh. is... Alone. Alone is just a situation. Right? Yeah. Situation. Yeah, it's more like a... People? Yeah. But, uh, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I guess that... You are an introvert because you told us earlier that you you are a loner, but you're never lonely, right? Yeah. Okay. Th that's a What's your interpretation then? <laughs> so I guess people tend to link the word alone and lonely into right. like negative things, right? Mm. Right. They it's, it's two different things. Yeah, yeah. They, they're very concerned when when they know that okay, I I love being alone and I I am alone all the time. Okay, when I said that, they were always like. Are you okay, <laughs> right? But for me, I, I crave uh, my time lonely. Yeah. I, for me, like being alone is a luxury, is yeah. a privilege. So that's why I came up with the whole concept, Penyendiri. Yeah. Okay. Because I find that my mindset is pretty unique. Mm. 
So uh, I wrote my concerns, my uh, my experiences, and then Kadona turned it into a very beautiful lyrics. Mm -hmm. And then the melody, we always uh, write it together. And also the team, the music team, they all help really, really. Um, they they really helped through the whole process because I am I can say that I am a perfectionist. So this they have gone through so much because of me. Right. Because I yeah I I'm, I'm pretty strict when it comes to my music arrangements. That's good, and as well you should be. So <laughs> um, having this sort of personality where you describe yourself as a loner or an introvert, but yet you are an up and coming Indonesian <laughs> singer like this is and you're going to be performing. How do you how do you deal with that? I mean, does it is, do, you, do you ever get nervous when you're supposed to perform live? Because live performances are back, guys. For, yeah, for right. And you know, a lot of times as a as a performer, as an artist, you do have to make a lot of public appearances and perform in front of a bunch of people. How does that work for you? Okay, I actually mm, don't think performing is something that I don't enjoy. Okay. It's not a burden for you then. It's yeah, because it's it's different when it comes to like I have to go between a very large crowd mm -hmm. and I have to perform because I think performing it, it gives me energy. Oh, nice. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because I uh, I think some performers here can agree that we can feel actually we can be like transfer the energy from, from the, the crowd. crowd. Yeah, from the yeah. audience into us. Okay. So so yeah, that performing it's. it's not a burden at all okay. to me, but yeah, actually, like um, when uh, the opposite thing when I'm watching a concert, that is a pretty pretty much burden to me. Okay. Because, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because that sucks my energy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I, yeah. So I found uh, singing and performing is such a very fun thing, despite I'm an introvert. Right. But maybe doing interviews like this. It's a little, ah, it, it can okay. be a little bit... <laughs> Out of your comfort zone a little. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, okay. That's what keeps you on your toes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and honestly, uh, we haven't got the chance to hear the full album, Correct. right? But um, a little bird told me that one of the songs in your album is quite different than the rest of the songs, oh. right? It has some uh, 90s Spice. dance rock flavor in it. Yep. Now, exactly. why is that? Why, Considering why? you weren't born in the 90s, yeah. who wrote that song? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why, yeah. Why, why did you put it in your album with all the uh, other songs? Yeah. Okay. So the song's called Repetisi. Mm -hmm. uh, and the final music arrangement that you can hear now, is that wasn't actually um, there in the first place. Okay. So, uh, like I said, my music team had gone through so much because of my perfectionist self. So they came with five different music arrangement at first and the 90s dance rock wasn't in it in the first place. Mm -hmm. But then uh, somehow I can seem to like uh, love the, the one of the version, even one of the version that they gave me in the first place. Until the 90s dance rock came, the version, and that Succeedfully captured the vibe that I want to give to my listener when listening okay. to Rapati Okay. So that's why. So this nostalgic feeling that you're giving other people, you haven't personally felt yet, but you're able to <laughs> kind of get that out in your music. That's yeah, amazing. But, but I actually do listen to pop rock. So right. Uh, yeah, right. that's true. Um, I'm gonna ask you rapid fire questions. You ready? Wow. Okay. I don't want you to. I don't want you to think. I just want you to answer on the okay. spot. Okay. <laughs> Three of them. Okay. okay. Ready? Favorite color. The yellow. Okay. <laughs> Favorite food. Indomie. Okay. okay. Favorite song on your album? Oh my god, this is hard. Penyendiri! Oh, okay. <laughs> Good one. Why? Actually, I love all of them. Uh, and See, that's why I knew she was going to answer that. That's why I asked her about <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Because um, every artist loves all their songs. It, it changes depending on my mood. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so for now, it's Penyendiri. Okay. okay, but I guess that's the one that you did stick with most of the time because it ended up being the name of your album yeah. as well. It's tough. And clearly, her favorite color is yellow. Look at the album design. <laughs> yeah. It's yellow. So right? she's not lying. Yeah. It worked. All right. Hey, uh, we're going to talk more with you, so don't go anywhere. Uh, and all of you viewers, don't go anywhere either, because we're going to have more with Michelle or Michelia when we return here on See the Story. Stay with us.